as a goal, but uh, that's a, a statement of how much his game's improved over the uh, last two or three years. Card as well, he escapes the first player but then loses the ball. Batley pick it up. Car's injured, that might be why Big number 17, Gareth Frodsham is on the field for Batley. He is a big lump. Live, taking a drive. Well dealt with by Maloney and Kay. Palfrey inside ball. To the big lump. Gareth Frodson, who crashes over and gives Batley the lead. Sticking to try, driest ground he could find, I think. Ben Kay, though, drops the ball. Back forward by the Batley player. It's Don Maloney chasing, he'll not get there. It'll take a mistake, I think. There is no mistake. The Batley player, who could be Johnny Campbell, scores the try. Trying to squeeze over from active half-back, but Rovers are alert to that. But Rovers get, the, but Batley get a penalty for Rovers being offside. Ah, he's picky that, isn't it? the ball didn't even go out there. Batley will spread it on the first. And they've got the overlap. And Derry Williams has got the better of the party there and gone in for the try. He can score that last try. The captain drives it hard, but uh, tries one offload too many and uh, ball goes to ground. Puts his hand up in acknowledgement to his teammates. Now makes amends for himself. I was going to say the team needs to make amends for the captain, but he was first to the challenge himself there, involved at that tackle again. Henderson, oh, good work from Mother Dodo, he's having a cracking game. Kick through from Batley and uh, Batley are first to the ball. Poor that from Rovers, poor positioning. Can it happen again? Difficult conditions to do it in. Henderson collects the drop out, gives it to Buttery. Mother Dodo has run his blood to water, he's first to the tackle again there. Opportunities to attack. Drive through. He doesn't tackle himself, does he, Johnny Walker? Smith towards the ten. Great carry again. Good leg drive. Across the front of the sticks go Batley, sneaking a man through on the right hand side. Spreading the play now. Squeezing in the corner. No through for their opening try of the game. Alex Bretherton touching down, former Dewsbury man, 
eating back that 10 point advantage the six points now. It's warming up this one. 10 4. Badly back in the game. They go through with another drive and trying to push through on Lee's left hand side. More hard work done from Johnny Walker wearing the skull cap for Batley Bulldogs. I think you have to say that Smith and, and Walker are leading it a great break. Another good break great from carry. half back from Dave Four Menel. Minutes. Squeezed it through and Priest crosses for the second try in two minutes for Batley Bulldogs. Brings the Bulldogs to within two points of the Lee Centurion. Nick Warren's he got in his way and impeded him from doing that. What? Bradley then oh, with the goal. opening exchanges of the upper hand. Two. Tackling is oh. Bybee. Warms oh. again. Could have find his way through this time. Held on to around the ankles. Bradley with not many men over on this left hand side. Strong tackling from Lee as well. Driving them back outside that 20 metre line. Didn't kick over the top, taken lovely over so the right hand side. Prince goes in for his second try of the game, if it's given by the video referee. And yet again, we hear the thoughts of the man in the sky, Ian Smith. On side. Games on Premier Sport, the whole of the live championship games exclusive right here. But yet again, apply more pressure. Forcing the lead, players back onto their goal line, flung out to the right-hand yeah, side. Touchdown, another try, Gareth Potts this time, with all the time in the world to decide where to put that one on the field. And Batley stretch their lead Great to ball. double the points of lead. Great ball from the hooker. from their own 40. Priest is underneath it. Builds up some pace as well before hitting a hard tackle of Craig. Back in, back in, Sully! Sully, get back! Three round shirts helping. From tackle two to an end. Here this comes Alex Brown. See. This is what he needs to do. See, see! Bursting oh, through the line, well. shrugging off the men. Two more to beat as well, no offload away. Strong stuff though from... Alex Brown gives Batley the impetus, strong line as well. On that right hand side, metres away now for the Bulldogs. The kick through, chasing it down is Gareth Moore for the opening score of the game. The end of the first quarter, and Batley Bulldogs lead this game by four points to nil. Well, put that down, Alex Brown. We were screaming up here, get in here and do some work, Alex. We know you're an explosive ball carrier. And what does he do? He carries the ball 60 metres and sets up the field position for Ben Black there, who puts on his sixpence for his half-back partner, Gareth Moore. Straight from the practice field, this bit, to finish the set. A bit of communication that you need between seven and six, but I'm sure we'll see in the half-time breakdown of what a fantastic carry it was from Alex Chief Brown. Rams coach. It's out at the back of the stands. Doesn't look quite as warm as John Keir's position that he's got. Now Matt, we've got Mark Applegarth off the bench for 
Batley. Now is Menel. Spinning it right. Two. Setting Roy themselves up in centre field. Menel through Moore. And into Bretherton. Missing a couple of runners. It's held on to by Black. Eventually throws it out to that right hand side. Can they get in the corner? And it looks like Jason Walton has got the second try of the game. It goes away in the home side as well. They stretch their lead to 10 points to nil. Jason Walton touching down. Good try. Shift from left to right, right across the field. More to black. Has a bit of a juggle. Misses his runners. Young Walker, the back rower, finds a good pass to James Walton, and he's coming down that hill fast into the corner. Finishes either. Johnny, great pass from Johnny Walker. Keeps the ball in his left hand. I believe he's left handed or not, so if he's tempted to near the sideline, he gets the ball down easier. So good skill, good finish. Gets low. Sliding into that corner. His third successive year at Batley. Good young prospect, part of the 2010 Northern Rail Cup winning team as well. But let's just have a look whether he got the ball down in that corner as he was sliding through. Got the arm of the defender underneath it. A few of the video referee, Brian, how you even know he's got the ball down there? Yeah, I think he got the ball down. Not you. So I've to the video referee. Kick over the top. Good set. We can hear from play. Natalie, who's down pitch side. Talking to the uh, physio, and uh, you could see from the replays that he banged his head, but he actually twisted his body as he fell, so he twisted his head as well, so that's where the head injury came from. He's communicating fully, he was uh, fully conscious, as you can tell, as well, and the spinal board just came out as a precaution. So uh, he's feeling all right, he's got a bit of back pain and uh, pain down his arm as well, I'm told. Uh, he's into the medics room, and he will be going to hospital just for a checkup as well, so we do wish him all the best in his recovery. Thank you, Natalie, for the updates on Aidan Fall. A big stoppage four minutes into this second half. And Batley now 20 metres away. The kick over the top, being chased down. Quickly in there with the boot, Austin Buchanan. Picked up, though, by the Batley Bulldogs in the in goal area. And has Black got the ball down? The referee is running away. He's given the try. Batley Bulldogs. It was a rather unconventional kick away from Austin Buchanan, but the Bulldogs have got their first try the second half. Well, that was a habit kick. He just was just leathered it and he went straight up in the air. And Gareth Moore thinks, well, oh, hang on a minute, this ain't going anywhere near dead. So he kicks the first one, so he gets a try kick for this. Austin Buchanan gives it a good leather in and doesn't get it out of the ground. And Gareth Moore, in essence, regathers his own kick for a score. That's a fabulous play by him. But I'll ask him that. Austin Buchanan's kick there, he's, you know, he knows. He's chased that for his life because he knows it hasn't gone out. He's thought, oh no, please don't go, but he's giving it the Peter K. Have it? You yeah, see, it hasn't gone out. He's thought, oh, this ain't going out, this ain't going out. And Gareth Moore's chased his own kick. Plump the ball down for the most unusual of scores.
family, the Lockton family, number 16, Alex Worsley. Two dead woods on one gantry. How good is that, eh? Yeah, yeah. I definitely know it's not a You were very excited. It's not a hologram. <laughs> Dave, what are you making of this so far now? I think Sheffield are going forward very, very well, and Batley seem a lot comfortable defending their own line, because, as Brian said, they, they don't panic. They, they communicate very, very well. But up the other end of the field, they don't defend as well. Their line speed's not as good. But uh, Sheffield making a lot of ground. A lot of easy ground. How many uh, passes in that tackle, by the way? Offload after offload, pass after pass. Here comes Ben Blackmore, who's found the gap on the outside of Harrison, and they have worn them down. Game that is being played. In a, well, not a searing heat, but it's a very warm night. First time, really, that these uh, two sides will have come across conditions quite like this this season. It is supposed to be a summer sport, but. When did we last have a decent summer? <laughs> Is that right? I think you are right, yeah. Move! Three, hold here. Wait! Here's Bretherton. Four, move! Chris Live Four. is the man at Dummy Hall. Four, you're still on. Here's Moore. On. Black again, just uh, offering that particular threat that he has and cutely getting it away as well. Oh! The man from the interchange bench, Keegan Hurst. The offloads really providing benefits for battle. Last tackle, Black, chip over the top, the hands, the big hands, and I think it's going to be a try here. The referee has a look. Has he given this? He has given it. Rather to Greece, he's patched it safely enough. Picked him off the well, there. didn't he? He picked him off well. Brown was under a bit of pressure, he wanted to kick the other way, but... There's still some good signs for Batley here. They're getting back behind the ball on play two. two and two, go. Here comes Green. Three. Move. Three, hold there. So 16 Way. points the difference here. What uh, what Batley are playing for in the first the first instance is getting a try to put themselves in that Four. bonus point Move. range again. The 12 point difference. Four. Or less gives them at least oh, one point for this tonight, so they'll carry on fighting here. Desperately not anxious not to concede another another try. It's been about execution, hasn't it, Dave? Oh, Sheffield have been near the oh, for his kick. Oh, that was a great right. take, great and it's going to be a fabulous try. That really deserved the score, Gareth Potts, because he knew he was going to get smashed.
Now he launches the counter, he runs strongly, gets through the first tackle. Ben Black tries to rip the ball out, succeeds. They turn over possession here of Lee. Ball fed out quickly to Potts. Potts is in at the corner. Well, McNally got sucker punched there by yeah. Ben Black. Lee good and look very sharp. On the two occasions they have, they turn it over in their own half. Walker in possession for Batley, plays it 15 metres out from the try line. Ball sent left to Applegarth. He then turns it back to Moore. Moore throws to Dummy, steps, but Hopkins has him. Great play, Hopkins. Spencer was also involved too. Lee back on their own line defending. Short ball comes to the left hand side to Bretherton, but he's all wrapped up by Goulden. Matty Wildey at dummy half, sends the ball into the middle. Life keeps it moving. On to Keegan Hurst. Hurst is just held short of the try line. He'll look like the building here, Batley. Hurst, Matty Wildey, he's picked his way through from dummy half. Well, he looked like he was going to send the ball right. Spotted that the markers were just not fighting.
leg on the floor in weight, wasn't he? He was hiding. So the penalty, they're going to take the tap. They've got them on the rack here. So Lindsay, Ash Lindsay, taking it forward. It's like um, in the bus game of Oki Koki as he's two steps forward, one step back, picked up from Menor. Went for the line, but too many bodies in the way. So back it comes. Here's Black. Shows, steps. Wonderful by Ben Black. Has the support on the inside as well for the block. Into the line comes Potts. Oh, he's got through as Gareth Potts, and a little step on the inside has left the fullback floor, and that's why he is one of the most marked men in the championship. Gareth Potts, 17. Oh, it's up, it's intercepted by Alex Brown. Oh, my word! Go! Off he goes. Alex Brown sails away. What about that for an interception? What about that? Well, they weren't going to stop him this time, were they? He's blocked it out of the eighth inning. Winger there, Nev Morrison, and another lot of pressure coming up for him. Here they come, another wave. Johnny Campbell just threatening to make the burst in the first instance. Wild is at dummy half. Inside it comes for Keegan Hurst. Big drive by him and a twist and a turn. Two tackles gone, four to go, 20 metres to cover. This is Gareth Moore. He's got it away, taken on by Green. Green's got the offload. Wild is there in pursuit, puts the pass on to Applegarth. Well, they're asking all the questions here. Could be a three-score lead by the half-time if anything comes of this. Wild is away. Defenders there quickly. Oh, oh, him. This is live. Standing and waiting at Dummy Hart. Back it comes to Moore. Moore with a step. He's broken the line. But it reassembles quickly. Wild again on the last. Short and flat. in Sheffield the way it finished, but badly are cock a hoop. 22-6. Six... Liam Finney is who taps it. And a terrible pass. Well, Ben Black scored. Well, that was absolutely ridiculous. Loses the ball. Picked up by Ash Lindsay, play on. Walton gets nowhere from dummy half. Because Maloney had his card marked. Number 16 on the field is Alex Wormsley. Made a big impression this year as Wormsley is a big kid. Good tackle, Tim Spears. Here's Wormsley again. Just stepped out of the 40 to kick that, in my opinion. Briscoe's done for pace, though. And the ball bounced between Briscoe and Hardman. It was an awkward bounce. The ball's with Finn. Batley player got to him. It's picked up cleanly by Wormsley. Who feeds the number 15, who finds Ben Black. Andy Kane's hunting him down, he forces him to the corner, but he won't stop him scoring. Ben Black scores the try. Good play from Batley, they applied kick pressure to Liam Finn. He didn't get the kick away properly, and Wormsley picked it up off his toes. up, and Spears can't get shot. So not the best last play from Rovers. Brown put down on the Batley 40. Brown gets it back. 
Steps out of a couple of tackles, puts the foot on the gas. Hardman, good work. Oh, Smeaton went down awkwardly. Hopefully he's all right. Inside ball to Priest. Oh, gets over the line. And Batley are going to tie this game up here. Picturehouseweddingfilms.co.uk have chosen Andy Kane as their man of the match. Who could argue? First half hat trick for Kaney. And an all round jolly good show. But Roma's having to defend to the death here. It is Brown. Briscoe can't prevent him scoring. Brown touches down in the corner. up the slope if they've got to defend a little bit more and you're kicking on the last tackle even if it's over halfway that you're kicking it gives you a bit better field position there's james green with the initial drive Mendel waits at dummy half and picks it up and here's the other prop byron smith is gonna have a push as well the former castleford and rochdale man puts in the minutes and has done throughout his career Mendel to this right hand side and more dropping it back for ash lindsay now Backley certainly looking the more likely in these opening minutes. What is it, seven minutes played? Now it's Menel. Menel switches it back. This is Ben Black. Black trying to create the numbers and create the gap for Applegar, who runs and reaches for the game's opening try. Seven minutes played. There was an air of inevitability. To Almost got it inch perfect, roll perfect, but it has given possession back to Backley here on the 20-metre line with a tap. Alex Brown with the initial drive. Chance to bring it free. Two, move in. Oh. Here's Menel. Oh, Connecting it from Ash Lindsay back on the inside to Byron Smith, who got the offload away, not the cleanest, but there was somebody there to pick it up in the shape of Mark Applegarth. Three, move. Three gone, three to go. 6-6 six, six the scoreline, midway through this first half. Black with a short pass, here comes a pace of Potts, going to take on Hawkeye on the outside, who almost got there, but Potts was just too quick. He's making a habit of scoring this season, he's 18th of this campaign. Applegarth will take it in first, big effort by him. Ten oh, metres oh, away, oh, and you oh, rather oh. fancy Batley in this oh. position to really punish Swinton here. Walton with a little drop-off pass. Two, Swinton's defence is wise to it. So here they come again. Menel, central, puts it back into the arms of Alex Wormsley. And Alex Wormsley forces his way over. Only just on the field. That might be his first touch of the game. What a way to start. And just to be sure, it's his other brother, Liam, who would be making his debut tonight. We've seen... He threw it backwards. Players. May have flown it forward a little bit, but... Uh, by the way, that should have been a four-pointer for Swinton, and, that, and it's something that they really, really needed just to, to get themselves back into this game. Well, they thought they got the rough end of the wedge on the refereeing decisions in their last game against uh, Dewsbury, and I'm sure they'll be thinking they're getting a bit of a rough end of the wedge here. But here comes Ben Black in support. He has a flying Matty Wilde. Look how many are up in support of Matty Wilde. He doesn't need any of them. He'll go by himself to score the try, and what a sucker punch that is. One moment, Swinton at one end, thought they had scored at 72 now, penalty count. So they get another set of six, and they still have time to go through a full set here oh. as well. But um, clumsy from Ben Black. Before he decided it went backwards, picked up by Matty Wilde. Not sure it was Ben Black, I think it was the shocker that was thrown out of Dummy Half. Here's Black again, on to Applegarth. Applegarth with. Um, a little bit of dynamism down that blindish side. It's um, Black once more. A couple of Dunning runners missed out, and then it goes on to Moore, and um, he will try and thread his way through. David Mills hanging on. Smith's there up in support as well. Richie Hawkyard hanging on as well. Swinton just about surviving. Yeah, was that a touch of the whitewash? If it was, it's a try. Well, the referee's not sure. He's handing this over to Ian Smith. But has Gareth Moore got a touchdown here? It's in the ground, in. Please. He didn't call held, so it's... It's whether the, the ball is on the line or not. Is he short? Oh, Just, uh, we need that really slow. 
Right, very, very slow now. So he's got it in he's got it in his left arm. The Swinton plays there. He's short. Just jog that forward a frame, please. Just see if that's the white line underneath. Jog it forward, please, not back. Forward. Has he got it in his hand? No, I, I need it. Jog it back now. Keep jogging it backwards. Keep going. Right, pause it there. That's it, that's a try. Dave, that's a try. It's a real kick in the teeth. Well, the the defenders off you so you get a one-on-one -on -one opportunity and find the ground as hard as you can. And run like that with a <laughs> bit of purpose. Yeah. Yeah. And, that's, and that's the difference between the two teams at the moment. They're really running with some purpose. They've got plenty of numbers around the ball, the Batley side and, and Swinton are the opposite. So a, a, a scrum about 10 metres out, was it, from their own line, and Batley on tackle two. They're very nearly on the halfway line. Here comes Alex Brown on the third tackle. He's going to take it inside Swinton territory. So ominous again, making lots of yards with every carry at the moment. Skimmed across the line. This is Black who gets it away to Lindsay. Ash Lindsay trying to crawl an extra yard or two. And it comes through Black once more, the offload, and here he comes again, Alex Wormsley. Support on the inside for Gareth Moore, not to be denied this time. His second of the night, it was a wonderful yeah, clip still to go. This fellow's got a non-stop engine, hasn't he? Ash Lindsay tidies everything up, he does 30 tackles a game, he's done about, must have done about 20 carries now. Back it comes to Black, and Black with a step and the support, and a try on his debut, Liam Wormsley. Keeping it in the family. Both brothers have made a touchdown today, but that's the one that we celebrated the most in the Wormsley household tonight. How popular a score. Pass flicks it, not sure who to. Alex Brown is the man who picks it up. Stop him if you can. Nobody's going to catch him. Alex Brown down this left hand side. And he will score by the side of the sticks. Absolute flyer. From the minute the ball went to the ground, you knew there was going to be only one outcome. Alex Brown over the touch. Yeah, uh, scrum, but if it's his wrist, he shouldn't need to limp. Really. Oh, you always have to have a limp. <laughs> Even if it's your wrist, have a limp. Look, so I'm hurt. A limp wrist? Yeah, limp wrist. <laughs> I like it. Here comes Applegar. Driving it in. Paul Mennell. Boy, you need some looking after you too, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Pointing in the right direction. Here comes uh, Byron Smith. Smith with a drive and a twist. Looking to offload, but he can't do so because the Swinton defenders have swarmed around him. But Medal picks up again from dummy half. And now it's a surge from Mark Applegarth, who's over for another if, if Ian Smith deems this a try because the video referee is being called for again. So, Ian Smith, it's over to you. We're looking for obstruction. So this lead runner going through. The pass, he goes to the gap. There's no obstruction there. The defenders go to the decoy runner. So it's just the grounding, please. You got anything on the grounding? Defenders go to the decoy runner, which is what he want, they want him to do. And the grounding's OK, so that's a try. Dave, that's a try. Inside their opponent's half, so here they come forward again. Breverton with a lead drive. It's Paul Menel who stands and waits. Forward again by James Green. Referees have a good peering look here, making sure there's no nonsense going on in the tattle. Eventually it's played. Well, eventually it'll be played. <laughs> Although James Green wants to make his mark. Menel, here's Moore. Back it goes to Ben Black, here comes the uh, the run of Jason Walton, and Walton just sight down, got it away, it's another try. I think it's Ben Black who got there in the end. Byron Smith. Byron Smith who got there what's in coming the his way. And a smile on his face also because uh, Batley are easy winners here tonight. 58 points to six, they've scored 30 points in this second half. 28 in the first, James Green. Again, looking to set a platform here, off which Batley can work. Time for another try, maybe. More. Cross it goes to Ben Black. Black over the top, and it's caught 
by Johnny Campbell, who slides in for the 11th try of the night for the Batley Bulldogs. It will almost certainly be the last act of the night as well. Wonderful in its inception and execution. And 62 points to six is the lead now.
Occasion. Tyra not getting the ball into the air much. Moore will stop it with his feet on 45 metres and give it inside to Keegan Hurst. And Hurst needed four Halifax defenders to put Hurst down. The former Jewsbury man. The ball's come out and Brown gets clattered by Warren C. and Ashill. Moore shows the ball, gets away from Barlow. Barlow coming as the second man. Make sure Moore doesn't get too far. Black, short ball to Applegarth, and Applegarth three metres away. Black again gets the ball away, and Halifax made the tackle. Oh, wild, and the uh, Batley supporters cheering, Halifax supporters complaining, and even the players complaining. The season, Barlow well, went through Applegarth, who comes back at the third attempt, and Barlow's giving the ball away to Jason Walton. And after defending the line, Halifax need to defend again as Campbell goes on a, a twinkle toed run across the Halifax defence. And Arsenal in danger of giving a penalty away there as Ben Black gets the dummy, gets the shimmer, and Ben Black is going to score for the Bulldogs as he got the ball down. <laughs> Tuck Judge has given it, it didn't look like he got it down, but it's Ben Black of all people. 40 20, but uh, Brown back to cover that one, that right knee still strapped. Fieldhouse still receiving attention way, way back in Halifax. Uh, quarter of the field and the tackling is not the best again Eaton 
hanging on to the shirt and here comes Campbell looking for a way around the outside Thackeray standing his ground getting some help from Tyra Barlow going for the big hit both missing and that's allowed Warmsley to get into his stride and Warmsley still going and Warmsley will not be stopped on his way to the line and that is